let's say this is the straight wire, it has a current of I. I want to find out by the at a distance Z away. Z is a perpendicular distance of the point from the wire. Okay? The length of the wire is such that the two ends main angle, let's say theta 1 here and theta 2 here, like this. So with respect to this perpendicular distance, this point is making theta 1 angle and that point is making theta 2 angle, okay? Are you able to recollect similar diagram we have seen somewhere? When we found electric field and potential, okay? So you have to find out the magnetic field at this point, okay? Now take small d element somewhere, draw R vector and draw the magnetic field vector, how it is. Okay. It will be a good idea if you draw it again and just draw these two lines. It will be cleaner. Let's take a DL element like this. This is a DL. Okay, can you tell me what is the direction of the magnetic field over here? Because of the DL. Into the plane? Yes. DL is like this and R is like that. This is your R. This is your R vector. So DL, DL cross R into the plane. Okay? So you can see that for all the DLs, magnetic field is into the plane. So you just have to find the magnitude of the magnetic field and integrate it. All the magnetic field you do, all the DLs are in the same direction. Getting it? So, can you try doing yourself return? Okay. See, I am not looking for that you should get it correct. At least attempt it. Then when I tell you what is correct, you will be able to correlate and see where is your you know, conceptual derivative is there. So, dB is mu naught by 4 pi. What is the expression? I into? DL cross R in vector which is magnitude of DL into magnitude of R vector which is 1 into sine of angle between DL and R which is what? This angle? How much is that? Let's say this is theta. How much is that angle? 90 plus theta? You can draw a line like this. This is theta. This is 90 so 90 plus theta. Okay? So DL into R into sine of angle between them which is 90 plus theta. That's a DL cross R. Understood? That's a cross product. Okay? This divided by which distance? R. Can you write R in terms of theta and Z? Because theta and Z, Z is given and theta I am assuming it to be a variable over which I would like to integrate. Why I like to integrate with respect to theta? Because theta 1 and theta 2 are given as limits. So I try to write down everything in terms of theta only. Okay? So can you write R in terms of Z and theta? How much it is? R is? What is R? This is 93, right? R is what? It is Z. Z C theta. R cos theta is Z. So Z Sig theta whole square. Okay. This is what you get. Anybody got till here? Okay. So dB is mu naught i by 4 pi z square. Sin 90 plus theta is cos theta. Cos theta divided by sin square theta into dl. Can I integrate this? Can I integrate this right now? Yeah. I should get d theta. Then only I can integrate theta. It is dl over there. So I should be writing dl in terms of theta. This we have done last time also where we have written dl in terms of theta. Can you tell me what it is? No. When you say R d theta, R d theta is this distance. This distance is R d 
idea, but I am looking for this distance. Understood? So what is DL? We have done this. From here to here, the distance is L. Then only DL will be that distance. What is L in terms of Z and theta? Z and theta. Yes or no? So if you differentiate L with respect to theta, you get DL by D theta equal to Z C square theta. So DL is Z C square theta D theta. Okay, now you substitute this DL over here. You can see that nicely C square theta get cancelled. you have db equals to mu naught i divided by 4 pi z square cos theta d theta 1 z is also 1 all of you got this ok this you have to integrate limits for theta will be what theta 1 to theta 2 then how it is different from this scenario suppose you have this is Z. Only wire is from here to there. This is let's say theta 1 and that is theta 2. How this scenario is different from that? Both of them with the same answer should be minus. Minus theta 1 to plus theta 2 should be. The orientation of angle is changing. Minus theta 1 to plus theta 2. Okay? Same thing we did when we have derived for the electric field and potential. Tell me what is the final answer? B is equal to What is the integral of cos theta? Sin theta? So this will be equal to mu naught i by 4 by z sin theta you have to put limits minus theta 1 and plus theta 2. So what do you get? B as equal to mu naught i by 4 pi z what it is? sin theta 2 plus sin theta 1 when you put minus theta 1 sin of minus theta 1 is minus sin theta 1 ok so this is the magnetic field due to a finite wire ok for which theta 1 and theta 2 are the angles made by the end of the wire ok and the angle should be opposite side of the distance. You get it? Theta 1 should be this way and theta 2 should be like, like that. Get what I am trying to say? First, if, if I give you a wire like this and I ask you to find field over here, what you should do first? Find its perpendicular distance. Draw a perpendicular like this. Find this distance. This will be z. And then what you do? Join the ends and this is theta 1 and that is theta 2. Understood? Okay? So angle should be on the opposite sides of the perpendicular distance. Then this formula is true. What if it is like this? Then what formula should we use? The wire is still there only from A to B. Only this wire has a current. Perpendicular distance should, when you draw the perpendicular, you need to extend the wire. So this is the side. So theta 1 and theta 2 are like that. So which formula should we use? Should, can I use this? Can I use this? It will become minus over here. Then you, your limit should be theta 1 to theta 2. It will not be minus theta 1 to plus theta 2. Fine. So if angles are the same side of the right of, of the perpendicular distance, the formula will be write it down. This into sin theta 2 minus sin theta 1. This is not in your NCIT syllabus. In your school exam, this is not going to be asked. But then it is regularly asked in all the comedy exams. Any doubts? No doubts? Doubt me. Okay. So let's try to solve few numericals of this.
angles are in opposite sides and it will be minus if angles are of the same side. Okay, draw the equilibrium triangle. Side length is A. Stop talking. Side length is A. The current flowing through the loop is I. You have to find magnetic field at the center of the square, in the center of the triangle. This is an equilibrium triangle. What is the magnetic field at the centroid of the triangle? Okay. How do you go about solving this? Can I, can I say that this triangle is made about three line segments and I find magnitude to one line segment and multiply by three? Right? Now do it. It's a direct application of formula. Anybody got? That is your magnitude to be into the box. Curl your hand in the direction of current into the box. To find the magnitude due to one line segment, what you should do? Find out the Z first, draw a perpendicular and find out this distance. How much is that distance? A by 2 root 3. How do you make that? Join this line like that. This is 30 degrees. This is A by 2. So that is A by 2, 10, 30. Okay. So Z is how much? A by 2, 10, 30 degrees, which is A by 2 root 3. Okay. How much is theta 1 and theta 2? This is theta 1. Theta 2 is also 60, both are 60 degrees and both are at the opposite sides. So I can use this formula, the plus 1. Okay? So if you substitute the values, you will get magnetic field to be equal to mu naught i divided by 4 pi z, which is a by 2 root 3. Sin theta 1 is sin 60, root 3 by 2 plus sin 60, root 3 by 2. This into 3. Because three line sets, three such line segments are there. Understood? Any doubt? Understood, right? Okay, let's take up a numerical which has come in J1 2017. Let's see. I mean, uh, because there are direct numerical that comes on the application of this formula itself. Almost every alternative. So here is that problem. So it is 